Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with an update on what's going to be a hot couple of weeks of weather here for the Oracle Tax. As right now, we have upper level high pressure. You can see it extending from the Gulf of Mexico right over the Oracle Tax right now. And as a result, temperatures already in the mid to upper 90s over much of the Oracle Tax early this afternoon. Few locations actually could make it into the triple digits. Uh, as soon as today and that threat of triple digits will continue through this week and probably most of next week as well as this ridge eventually going to move towards the northwest but it's going to move back and re-intensify as we move into next week so that means we're going to stay dry and we're going to stay hot robin studio to futurecast shows a mostly clear sky over the article text for the most part tonight minus a few high clouds Tomorrow we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine as we once again stay dry. Expect a mostly clear sky tomorrow night. And as we go through Thursday, once again, going to be looking at that mix of lots of sunshine and just a few clouds with nothing as far as hope of rain in our area as we could use it as obviously. As we move forward here, look at the heat index. This is going to be the main story uh, for the most part for the uh, next couple of weeks. You can see tomorrow the heat index could meet or beat 110. As of right now, we have a heat advisory in place for the article text, but don't be shocked if you hear about an excessive heat warning before it's all said and done. And this heat is not going anywhere. This is 10 days worth of heat index, and you can see 105 to 115 is what we could be looking at as far as the heat index with perhaps the worst conditions during the middle part of next week. So here's why. The upper level ridge, again, pretty much over the top of us, it's going to continue to dominate the weather across the south. Notice this upper level low, which is situated here across the upper Midwest. This is going to move towards the south and east and give that ridge a nudge back to the west. But it's going to stay rather strong and extend back to the southeast over the Arkletech. So we're going to see very little heat relief with the movement of the center of the ridge. As we move forward here, you can see that ridge will come back and it's going to be even stronger as we head into next week. So that will keep us hot, maybe even make us hotter and keep us dry. Some models hinting at a little bit of rain, a few pop-up showers here and there, but the rainfall chances will be uh, very, very low. And you can see by the time we get to the end of next week, that upper level ridge pretty much sitting right over the top of the Arkletex. And of course, what this means for rain is that we will not see much. Most locations could stay totally dry from now through next Friday. Those locations that do pick up a little bit of rain probably will see less than a tenth of an inch the way it looks right now. Based on what I'm seeing, the best chance of rain may be late next week. We'll see if that actually happens, but uh, a few and far between as far as any showers in our area for the next few weeks. In the tropics, uh, Ernesto continues to strengthen max winds as of mid-afternoon at 60 miles per hour. It is expected to become a hurricane uh, tomorrow evening. Move close to Bermuda this weekend as a Category 2 hurricane, and then it'll move into cooler waters and should begin to weaken as it moves east of New England. Still does not appear as if it's going to be a threat to the U.S. coast. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. We will see a mostly clear sky. Temperatures across the Arkletex will fall into the mid to upper 70s, right around 76 in Texarkana, 79 degrees in Shreveport, 75 in Marshall, and 76 degrees in Natchitoches. Tomorrow, expect uh, lots of sunshine with some clouds mixed in. Many locations will likely make it into the triple digits, right around 100 degrees tomorrow in Shreveport. Same thing in Natchitoches, 99 in Cachetta, 97 in Arcadia, and right around 98, 99 degrees for the high temperature in Texarkana. 10-day forecast shows very little, if any, rain through the next 10 days. As highs will stay very close to 100 degrees pretty much each and every day. Overnight lows will likely stay in the upper 70s at most locations. So we're kind of stuck in hot, humid, and dry basically for the rest of this week and possibly all of next week.